amino acids are materials which we are uh, using in agriculture and horticulture quite commonly to support high value crops and to support high quality crops because in theory the plant can take those amino acids build them into proteins uh, more readily than if it were able to if it were having to manufacture those amino acids itself but it's not quite that simple um, First of all, all amino acids exist in two forms, a uh, mirror image of one another. Uh, a D form, dextro for right-handed, and an L form, which is labo for left-handed. And uh, plants are mostly composed of left-handed amino acids, not entirely, but, but mostly. And animals are mostly com comprised of right-handed amino acids. And we have evolved to readily turn plant left-handed amino acids into right-handed ones with a very, very low energy input. Plants have not evolved consuming animal matter, so they are right-handed amino acid and they really don't know what to do with it. And sometimes actually break it down to its component parts as a source of nitrogen, rather than building it back into peptides and then polypeptides and then proteins. And it's important if you're going to use amino acids and feed them to plants that they are free amino acids, i.e. not bound into peptide chains and polypeptide chains. Um, that those amino acids are free. Many of the amino acids have interesting functions in plants. Um, some are capable of acting as hormone mimics. Others uh, activate triggers and they will sit in receptor sites on membranes and make all sorts of interesting things happen. But it is important that you give plants plant sourced amino acids. And most of the commercially available amino acids come from animal sources. Um, the opportunity to source plant sourced amino acids from fermentation of plant matter is something that uh, Micromix as a company have been very keen to do for a number of years and we're now able to find uh, fermentation products from the breakdown of plant materials from a number of different sources and some of them have very different properties some of them are, are, are richer in the more active compounds, compounds like histidine, tryptophan, etc. And others are just rich in a whole range of amino acids and um, they, are, they also have their, their place. So they're important raw materials for us and they go into a number of different products um, and they help to act as intermediates for growth, they help with protein generation and as I said before some of them have some interesting biostimulant properties that we rely on. You can also use amino acids uh, as a chelating agent um, and although strictly speaking according to European regs you can't call amino acid chelates chelates and they have to be complexing agents. Um, we have used amino acids to chelate materials but we've discovered as far as Micromix is concerned anyway they're not very efficient at delivering metals into plants. That's amino acids.